Yeah, and that's the story of how the Bober lost the Schmidly Bop. <laughs> I didn't know Bobers had Schmidly Bops to begin with. Well, no, they normally don't. Wow. That's why it's a story about that. That's a really unique one, then. Yeah. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Vintage Cube Draft. Here we're going to do another stipulation uh, supplied by, uh, looks like, Samamurai. Uh, this is a Gotham stipulation. We must take all counters. Exceptions may only be made for power and 100% on-color fixing. Preferences for Azorius or Jeskai, but Esper or Demir if the situation is right. Get him, got him, good is the uh, the ending to that note. So we're basically just playing blue uh, with, a, with a preference towards Azorius or Jeskai, but Esper or Demir. So we're, we're like blue and then secondarily white. And then secondarily, third third-larily red, but then fourth alarily black. Fourth Alarily. I like that fourth Alarily didn't get by you, but third Alarily did. That was nice. Oh, it's beautiful. Now there's no counter spells. There's no Mana Vault, which is worth considering. I think Mox Jet's better than Mana Vault, right? Yeah, I guess so. This is a Mox, Michael. What about Dirt Alarily? That's what Mike does with his whole life. It's oh, true. oh, oh, oh. I think Force Will is better than Counter Spell. Really? Counterspell will probably come back. I think Forcible is more likely to come back. Counterspelling two mana is huge. I, I think it's Counterspell. I think you're overvaluing this because of its constructed applications. But, like, you don't want to get rid of a second card. Yeah, Counterspell is better. I agree with that. I think you're oh, just man. used to Forcible being busted. Freebie is weeby. But you have to... I think it's, you, you overestimate having a second blue card in your hand. A lot of times you just don't. I'm taking this. Okay. Uh, that's a common. Force of Will is a it's, rare. It's actually an uncommon in Alliances, nerd. Oh, here's a Gotham. No. God, and an Underground and a Tropical Island. And a Tinker and a Tolarian Academy. I don't think we're a Tolarian Academy deck, but I do Not like... yet. <laughs> Not with that attitude. Okay, hold on. On color fixing and... I think we just take the Underground. Underground is Premier. And if we have a Mox Jet, it makes it much easier to go into blue-black. But Gotham... Well, they said uh, exceptions can be made for power and on-color fixing. So. We don't know our second color is yet. But we already have a Mox Jet, so I have no problem going blue-black. Poor rat. <laughs> oh, that rat's just fine. Oh, yes. <laughs> Got a feeling you'd be all right with that. Uh, it has a sad now. Whatever, we can go tomorrow. I can't. We need to fix this schedule. Hmm. Compulsory research, Vendillion click. Oh, Mystic Snake? That's funny because they made an exception and they said... They never mentioned green. But Mystic Snake is, is literally a Gotham. You're right. I don't know what to make of that. Think we can't take it. He didn't say green. Why does our stipulation hate green? Yeah, that's literally what I was thinking. Maybe the guy doesn't like green. Compulsive and vanilla click are also fine. Green isn't green is pretty countery. I think flooded strand is also good. Keeps yeah, snake does open. fit the stip. It really does, but it also forces us into three colors. It forces us into sultai again. Let's just take research. Or strand. I like strand. It gets, it gets us both. And it keeps us open. Ooh, Mull Drifter. But Shell Dock Isle. Boo. People do love Shell Dock Isle. <laughs> I like Mull Drifter better. I like Mull Drifter better as well. You make it seem like you don't like me. I do like being Sultai, but I just don't want to force it on people so much. But Shell Dock Isle. I'm going to take Mull Drifter. Tamiya? Does she get anybody? Oh, Scarab God is actually pretty busted. I'm actually a huge Scarab God fan, especially if you can Muldrift her. Alright. But Shell Dog Isle. Yeah, Luis definitely goes crazy for Shell Dog Isle. That is 100% accurate. 
But my shell doc, I can't believe, I can't believe this Holmes movie has 0%. Oh, it just got 5%. It just got a second. Oh, wow. It just got a 20 second review. It had 21. And now it is up to 5%. Still pretty terrible. It's not bad. What's the pick here? This pack is pretty bad. Ultimate price? It's just ultimate price, right? Yeah, sure. That got... Oh, Spell Pierce. That's a got him. All right. Did it. Okay, that was not what I wanted to do. Wow. Okay, so if the mouse lags and you're holding something, I think it, it disconnects from the, the clicking as well. Uh, we're not going to be... I don't want to be white yet. We do have a Flood Drain. We could be Esper. Uh, I like Night's Whisper. Better than Gideon? Or I don't want to be. I don't want to be dull white. Like two colors is so much better than three colors here. I don't think Will Ferrell needs an excuse to hang out with uh, what's his name, John C. Riley. Like I'm pretty sure they could just hang out whenever they want to. Also, they've done good comedies before. So yeah, they've done several good comedies before. Well, uh, Shriekums. Shriekmon's actually good with Scarab God. Yeah, that's actually fine. Hero Blade Hold also very good. Jeez. But then they get paid to hang out. That's true. That's true. It's weird to see a movie like that where, like, did you guys read the script? Like, there's there's got to be a certain level of awareness you have, right? Where you're like, I can just look at a movie and be like, this is probably not going to be good. Right? I've definitely done that before. Oh, the pack rat came back. Wow. Okay. Pack rat's pretty god. Was that a Verdant Catacombs as well? It was, yeah. Wow. I still think pack rat's a little better. Agreed. Well, it might not be a script. It might not have been a script issue, sure. But like all the like the the movie has like really good actors in it. Like, mm. I mean, so I I don't understand. Like, oh, I see. Gotta take the got him. It is a got him, and it did force itself upon us. <laughs> like like the snake may do. Snake, snake may do. Wow. What? Hey man, the force didn't come back. We missed a got him? What got him did we get? What what got him did we miss? Misty seems great here. Can someone yep. vouch that I did not try to go Sultai here? This was totally just taking the Mystic Snake. Mana Tithe? Oh, um... Yeah, I guess that's a got him. Dang it, that is a got him. You're right. Yeah, I, I didn't think about it. I wasn't thinking right because I wasn't on white. I also wasn't on green, but this is the only color card in our in our color. And it was like a very... It's just Misty, right? We already have Underground. Yeah. If we play this guy, it lets us... Yeah, that's good. I didn't even force it. Oh, we took Pack Rat over Man. Yeah, but it was on. It was in. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'll do. You know what? Sure, sure. On color fixing is an exception, though. Correct. As well as power. And power, yes. Seems good. I'll take this one. Yeah. See right there. It it totally skipped. Yeah. This mouse needs to be. We need to. We need to figure out the problem for this thing because I am not. I ain't having it. With great snakes come great responsibility. That's actually a good point. What are the odds Mana League comes back? Pretty high. I don't know. Pretty medium, I guess. Don't you finish that sentence. Why? Swing it into the Spider-Verse reference. That was a good movie. It's a great movie. See, unlike Holmes and Watson, which has a 5%, Into the Spider-Verse is still sitting pretty on a 97%. Good lord. Also probably a better comedy, even though it's not really a comedy. Bumblebee, 93. Dude, we are seeing Bumblebee. I don't even care. I'll f I'll drag you along, bro. <laughs> Kicking and No screaming. one cares about your stupid Bumblebee. Uh, apparently people do, because it has a 93%. I was joking. I don't see any Gotham's in this pack. Elspeth is pretty good, though, eh? Eh? And we have a flooded strain. I don't think it's a got him, though. I'd rather just take Frexine Arena. 
I suppose. Why don't you just create Big Papa Grizzly? <laughs> if we discard it, we can random it with Scarab God. I do like Phantasmal Image. I think Phantasmal Image is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just take Phantasmal Image. Nothing here. Inquisition? Mm, okay. I mean, it's probably the best best of our options. Best of our limited options here. I don't think it's Thrag Tusk. Yeah, I like Inquisition here. I think. I think they took out a lot of counter spells. Wow, this is one of the best Gotham's in the cube. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I think they took out a lot of the counter spells in this in this cube. <laughs> Leovold's a pretty good Gotham. Leovold, remember that time you said draft me or uh, you'll unsub? Nailed it. Wow. I'm fine with these being our only green cards. I'd love to get... I wish we took the Verdant Catacombs, but... Whatever, we got Black Lotus. Is Glenn I got him? They see it on board. Hmm. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> Whoa. It's rare that I have a twofer. Oof. Oh. Oof. Uh, is this Swiss or single elimination? There's only single elimination. Or there's only Swiss drafts. So there's no single elimination cube drafts. There's no real point to be single elim. Like, you're just going to not have fun. Like, you, can, you don't want to get channel ulamogged in game one and then, like, not be able to play another another round because it's single elim. Repeal? It's got to be repeal because it's not imp. It's not walking blister. Yeah, but my elder here. I think repeal is a fine card. Oh, Repel. That's a got him. Yeah, that is kind of a got. Well, we have, we have Mox Jet and Lotus right now too. Wow, that's great. That's. I mean, this is a turn one Ashiok. If we can just go Ashiok, Swamp or Island. There are single limb for this cube. I'm where. There's only I only see this one. This is this is literally leagues. You oh there oh because they're drafts not leagues. That's why. Yeah, that makes that's whatever. I don't ever even get in there so. Leovold, thank you for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. Is it Jace or Riftwing Cloudskate? I like Riftwing because it's more of a Gotham than Jace. Sure. Sword is also pretty good. I like having more creatures, though, because you do have Scarab God as well. Oh, Nighthawk and Tessigre. And Smuggler's Copter. We know Smuggler Copter deck. Also, Riftwing is nice because we have Image. Like, all of our creatures, Muldrifter, Shriekmont, and, and Riftwing are all good with Phantasm, which is pretty sweet. Mystic Snake, not so much, but... The EV is probably better, but my experience is probably better. I'm going to take Tassiger here. I think Tassiger is probably better. Man, Elspeth came back? Mm-hmm. I guess we'll just take Elspeth. We also have Gideon Jura and History Benali on the sideboard, so... Wow, Geist of Saint Traft? Alright. Eh, Terminus. We're just building the sweet white to Oh, I had Necrotal. That's actually decent. I'd play that guy. Also good with Phantasmal Image. We have a bunch of creatures that kill that do things when they come into play. I mean we could still be Esper if we really wanted to be. Never mind. <laughs> Oh Jesus! Never mind. <laughs> no, just forget it, I guess. All right, and right down here we go. Boop. Uh, this is not a Gotham. Time Mind Twist might be the biggest Gotham ever, though. Card is sick, nasty. Which filthy. twist do we take? Do the twist. Oh, also Lotus. Like, yeah. All right, we're just taking. We're just taking Mind Twist here. Mm, Grave Daddy. I like Grave Daddy. We need to kind of a finisher. <sighs> we do kind of need a finisher. That's actually true. Duplicate's good too. Grave Daddy's probably the pick though. Oh man, Leovold Time Twister though. <clears throat> That's true. See my question above for Michael B. All right, hold on. Look at my question above. 
Hey, Mike B, if you were a one, two blue fire for two from alliances, what would your name be? I don't get it. Is there a one, two B flyer in alliances? It'd be a. Good one. Burgle flyer. Oh, the burgle flyer. Briggle flyer. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> no, it did not. All right, so text flying blue uh, power equal to one, toughness equal to two, and alliances. I want to do this before they I see the chat. Oh, it's a Stormcrow. I didn't actually think Stormcrow was in this set. You know what? You know what a good Gotham is. Days. Fur days. Yeah, we're definitely taking the days. I didn't actually know Stormcrow was in that set. Wow, that's crazy. I thought Stormcrow was a portal card. I didn't know it was in alliances. Why would he be a Stormcrow though? Cruise. We already have Task. I don't want to delve that much. Is it just Blooming Marsh? I guess so. I guess so. It's nice for fixing. Yeah, we can do... F oh, we have 21 cards already. We're probably going to be fine. Oh. There's Tooth and Nail again? No. Okay. It's Tribune Tar Pit, right? I think so. I don't think it's Shoulder. We don't have ways to reanimate here. It's not Bone Shredder. I feel like they did take a lot of counter spells out of this cube. Is it Looter? It's a good one. Yeah, I like Looter. Try hat D? I don't even know what that is. What are you saying right now? You know, try hat D. You know, everybody knows old try hat D. No, you're staying over there. You're staying over here. Every time I have to evoke Muldrifter, I just feel bad about it. Well, a lot of people complain about land destruction too, but they still have Ravages of War and Armageddon in the cube, so I don't think that's the case. I failed at any mode. <laughs> Leobold, I appreciate your honesty. No one's judging you. We all fail at any mode sometimes, buddy. Oh, wow. Got him. JK, this pack is actually terrible for us. You're right. We just play Sphinx and discard it to Looter to reanimate with Scarab God. Yeah, totally. We can actually take Buried Alive and then we can just reanimate them with Scarab God. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this. Mesmeric Fiend. Also Kiora. Yeah, I was thinking the Kiora as well. This is a turn one Kiora with a, with a Lotus and an Island. Interesting. Or a Forest. Yeah. Or a Blooming Marsh. Like any land in a Lotus is a turn one Kiora. Actually, that's not terrible. It also makes our 23 cards, so it's like perfect. Yeah, I think it's probably better than Mesmeric Fiend. Oh, wow! That's a really legit. We have 13 creatures. Like, I think it's actually fine here. Yeah, we can play it. God, Jitte is freaking busted. Oh, Trigon Predator came back. That's pretty cool. Look, there's a Ravages of War. And along with the Armageddon we already saw. Okay. Probably take Repeal out. Sure. We have, because we already have Riftwing Cloudscape. This is not the most Gotham's, but we have Spell Pierce, Counterspell, Daze, Glenlinger, Archmage. Like, I think that's actually, I think we only missed one. I think the only official Gotham we miss is Manatai. That we also have Ma Mystic Snake as well. So, not terrible. We got a good amount of Gotham's. Oh, we do. I agree. Someone took Twister over Jete. Yes, seems to be the case. Oh, Maelstrom Pulse is great. Wow. Yeah, that seems good. So now we need two cuts? Because I think we're definitely playing this and Veraska. Our fixing is not great, but we only need one black source for most of these cards. Or one, one green source, rather. And we have uh, Flooded Strand, which actually doesn't get... We have Mox Emerald, Misty Rainforest, 
a basic forest and a blooming marsh. So it's four sources for a bunch of things. Um, Tasker's probably around here. I guess we don't need Shriek and Necrotal. Shriek is probably better than Necrotal. And maybe turn one Vraska is possible, but not super likely. Maybe it's just Inquisition. I think I'm okay with that. Mox, Mox, Lotus. Seems good. All right, so sort by Colares. Uh, these are all equal. These are kind of, yeah, that's fine. All right. Kiora and Kiora's definitely not going. Kiora's pretty sweet. You guys are crazy. You guys are so silly. That can get everything. Emerald. Jet. All right, this is fine. All right, so definitely going one forest here, which just gives us one, two, three, uh, four, four sources, which is fine. That Verdant Catacomb would have been nice. Four, as far as blue, we have four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Seems okay for now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we'll add another blue if we can. Uh, we can. So, cool. This is 14 lands along with Mox Mox Lotus. Yeah, that seems great. This is... So, blue sources, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Seems good. Black sources, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, this seems great. This deck seems pretty sweet. You fall asleep? Did you just fall asleep? No. Did you black out? Something by you. I think running Lotus's land is a bit rough since it's it's a one and done. Yeah, that's true, but I'm not gonna not run it. Sand is a Yeah, the sand's the sand's fine. We get underground, and then we uh, we do the do the deed. Let me close. Let me exit out of Firefox. Oh god, I have no idea. No, not work off. See, I'm like it's actually lagging to the point of like. I'll see if that changes things. It feels a little smoother. Three Gotham's in hand too. Actually, pretty good. Uh, more like Schmithian, am I right? No. It's more like Schmithian. We saw Force of Will, we took Counterspell, but yeah, that's correct. I don't know who you're... Uh... It doesn't really do anything. We don't want Mind Twist for three when they have five cards. I'd rather wait till we can get their whole hand next turn. But it's random, so we could leave them with, like, hot Garbo. Don't forget to daze them, bro. People are saying do it now. I actually think doing it now is pretty good. Because we also get to daze their next play. I think we do twist now. Like, it leaves them with two cards. Yeah, you crazy, man. Sword, vent, land. Like, they might just not have any more lands left. Also, I don't really want to have to daze this turn. Oh, yes, that's so good. 
All right, sweet. Now we get to keep up days uh, regular regular mana, not having to bounce, and also spell pierce, which is great. I think we just hit both of their other lands, which is utterly insane. It seems to be. And that kills our threat. We do need some lands here, but... Caspi, come on, you can spell my land. Like, you can't say L-E farts in the first part and then L-A at the end. Oh, gross. All right, now we're now we're in now we're in control here. What just explain to me what just happened? Nothing. Well, it hit my arm. So whatever it was, whatever just fell out of your mouth. It was ice. Yeah, it was ice. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, never. The most never I've ever The most never ever. So for those who who uh didn't see it, Mike just literally ice fell out of his mouth. <sighs> I'm just going to play this now because if they have another like Thalia effect and I really want to come to play tapped or whatever. I don't think there is one, but they could reanimate their Thalia. Taking fire from Mike's ice mouth cannon. Oh yeah, this is all going very well. We get to equip Jitte next turn on a 2-2 flyer with persist, so I'm pretty sure any any kind of white shenanigans they have going are not going to So we can actually keep a blue up if we play this. That's pretty good. We can spell pierce in case they want to kill our dude. Or just because it has a natural built count natural natural built natural built in counter spell. Unless they have a free spell, this spell pierce is gonna get them. Alright, that'll do. That'll do, pig. Mm -hmm. Whew. What did we what did we what did they discard? Sword? Mm-hmm. Mm. Sword of Fire and Ice. I can see Trigon Predator being good here. Maybe over la 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 your mom. La 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 your mom. It's a good song. Maybe over Tassiger. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, with the old the old Lotus into Mind Twist followed by Mox Emerald Mox Jet seems good. Let's Mike again, like we did last. Leofold might not be great. False. I don't want to cut a creature. Like I don't want to cut a three mana creature, especially because we have Jete and we only have twelve guys. He is. He's right here in the chat. That's super rude. Um. So we have a green source, and we have a. Yeah, this hand is keepable. This hand is sneepable. Stop playing him on turn. Oh, do we just shriek him on turn one? I'm pretty sure we do. Yikes. Let's go get underground. You okay? Yeah. How how's your ice doing, bro? You know, it's uh, traveling the world. Your ice is traveling the world. This is why we brought it. This is why we brought in the Trigon Predator. I'm definitely mold drifting here. So many evokes. Yeah, you might say this deck is real evocative. There we go. Also, whatever they play, we can just Kiora it next turn. Oh boy, don't be. Oh, that's fine. Oh no, because it also makes a dude. Yeah, but they can't equip it. That's true, I guess. Well, 
think we just play Trigon Predator here. Really? Well, because I want to get rid. I need to get this off the board. I guess they'd give it negative two, negative two, though, right? Right. Oh, it's so bad. Because if we cure, they can't. Also, if they waste their turn equipping, I guess it's whatever. Drelax, thank you so much for the reset. Uh, re Welcome back, buddy. Finally, get your line to see three reasons power. Uh, three and a half, I'd say. Because we do have a, uh, a mind twist, which is basically like a, an honorary piece of power. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Two of you clipped the... Uh... Oh, this is going to be great. Here we go. You ready? This. <laughs> Oh, it's come on, man. Happened. Well, it hit my arm. <laughs> it's so obvious. It's such a big piece of ice, man. Whoo. Oh, that's a good clip, dude. Yeah, it was ice. <laughs> it's, such like a, it's such a visible chunk. Oh, man. That's good stuff, man. That's good stuff. Jesus. You're such a visible chunk. <laughs> oh, God. This Trigon Predator needs to do some work, buddy. Oh, don't, don't attack because you don't think... Dang it. You figured it out. Dang it. Oh, we're so close. <gasps> Wait, we can play another. Ooh. Is that good? It's good. But is it great? No. Did we just copy the brim? Oh, the cop. Phantasm is just terrible when they have both of these on board. Yeah, it's not so good. Well, actually. I think they still have to get damage through before. So we still get the block. We get to kill one of them. We can kill one of these. Oh yeah, Cure can kill anything. I mean, Braska. <sighs> so if we Vraska, we make a 2-2, that doesn't do anything. We do want to kill one of these. Because they're very, very powerful. Probably the sword. I think the sword is the bigger threat because a lot of our answers are blue. Actually, Jitte, I mean, like, so if they if they kill the Jitte, we could this guy is probably fine. Phantasmal image while either of these on board. Uh, we definitely don't have two predators. We have one predator because Phantasmal image, if it gets targeted by either one of these, is dead. So really not that great. Also, pro blue means. Uh, we don't have a blocker for the sword, which means it's definitely going to hit our face, which is definitely going to kill Phantasm Lynch. Yeah, you guys definitely don't understand how sensitive... This guy's a sensitive guy. They have literally Jitte sword. Also, you guys aren't keeping in mind that if they do attack with Jitte, um, they're going to have two counters, so they can literally make Trigon Predator an 01, which means we don't actually get to kill either of the things. So... Either you guys don't know what Trigon Predator does, or you don't know what Umazawa's Jitte was. Oh, uh, we can't kill... We also can't kill the cat and lock up things, because we have to use her second ability in order to put the Vraska into play. So, I think we're doing that. Vraska will die. But... We still get Brimaz off the board. We have a lot of mana for next turn. Oh, gotcha. Didn't know a Tricon did. Well, then how can you... How can you make suggestions, Cheshire Pratt? Let's twist again. Like we did last summer. 
Okay, so you're just... Oh, that's actually fine. Okay. Baraska be dead. VBD. Oh, that's fascinating. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. We can actually make th three, three, threes here. Which is rough because if they equip Vegete, they're going to kill one, then we have two, two, twos, then they could go neg two, neg two, and then we have a one, one left over. This can't die. We can't target you anymore. Yeah. Uh, Sword of Fire and Ice deals two damage to any target. Actually, we can prevent the two damage from the Sword of Fire and Ice, which is kind of cool. Oh, yeah, if we target with Cure. Yeah. I think we just want to draw two with Pack Rat right now, though. Or with uh, Night's Whisper. I think we want more options. That's actually a pretty good option. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can actually play Blooming Marsh, make a guy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we can actually reanimate two things next turn. One of which could be a Shriek Maw. Yeah, that's actually very good. All right. So that's probably going to be the play. Scarab God's probably the play here, right? Seems like it. Okay. Well. Well. Hmm. God, I really want to get rid of one of these with Predator, but... Ah, one, two, three, four, five... Let's make this... Yeah, that's actually nice. If they have no creatures, I guess it's much less threatening, so... We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five... Scrabble God... One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so we're going to play Blooming Marsh this turn. Next turn we have our eighth mana so we can reanimate two things. If they attack Kiora directly, they don't get a trigger here. And that's fine. Like we did last summer. Let's mic again. Hmm. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. We can also Phantasm Wizard the Palace Jailer, which is kind of cool. But then they target our Phantasmal image. Who are you attacking? Our face? Oh, so Cure lives another turn? That's cool. And they didn't equip Jitte? This is all very cool. That ain't gonna work. Oh, I wonder if they tried to kill Kiora, but it didn't work. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Alright, so... Can't target you, so we're gonna target you. We're gonna play Trigon Predator. We're going to copy the Trigon Predator, because right now, they don't have anything that can actually shoot it. And then next turn, we should be the Monarch. Look at those sky bugs. Look at those sky bugs. So if they equip Jitte here, it deals no damage. If they equip it here, we'll kill it. Those are our, those are our plans. Kringla, my grandma? What's Kringla? That's a Norwegian thing if I ever heard it. Kringle are gross sky bugs? Man. Oh yeah, you should have targeted the sword. I don't know why you didn't do that. Uh, because then they could equip this guy with Jitte and other thing. Not right now, we're just going to kill this guy, so the sword's not going to do any damage. You said, what? Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Sure. If we target sword, then... Traded wife for RP, check out my Twitch profile. There are uh, answers to your questions down there. What is this? <laughs> I see. Wow. 
No, it was pretty good. That was pretty good. But you are attacking Kiora, so... And we can attack you with both of these. And at least one will get through, which means we do get the we do get to be the monarch, and we do get uh, we get our scarab god back, which is pretty insane. So you have one flyer, seems good. You cannot target either of these, also seems good. This is one of our creature you control, right? Yeah. Okay. So. I get to be the monarch. The monarch. I think we want the pro blue sword gone. Probably. Yeah, I guess so. Wait, why don't I... Until an opponent becomes the monarch. Oh, it's right here. Okay, yeah. I was like, why didn't we get our guy back? It's literally right there. Oh, so now we can just get back Shriek Maw, right? Mm -hmm. And kill Avacyn? Yeah, that seems good. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to do it now in case they have any shenanigans. Oh, and also it lets us get Avacyn. <laughs> That's pretty good. My god. What a time to be alive. Yeah, Scarab God's actually really strong in this cube. And we get to draw a card. It's going to be a Gotham. It's not really got him. Steven C., I have to go. Thanks for the stream. Enjoy. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. Have a good night, buddy. Steven, always a pleasure. Remember that time you spilled, you dropped that ice piece and it just hit me in the arm? I do remember. <laughs> you remember? Oh, I see. Well, let's do this now, I guess. Do we just want Trigon Predator back? I actually think we want Muldrifter because we want ways to draw cards. We want to draw some cards here. Punk Apostle, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Also, how many zombies we have? Two zombies? Oh, We're one land shy of countering that. Oh, it's so frustrating. Hey. Oh, oh, they're gonna equip, right? No. Maybe. I hate this hammer being on the desk. It's just dangerous. <laughs> Yet you control it. Right, but that's my 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 hammer impulses are too much for me to keep in check. You know what I mean? Your hammer impulses. Wow. That's correct. Oh, that is correct. What are we getting here? Island? Oh, we could get a forest too. Island's fine. We're just going to draw the forest anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, we get to scry a bunch too. That's pretty sweet. Oh, bottom. Got him. Bottom and got him. That's what we're going to do here. Oh, yeah. Keep that bad boy. And then we can go one, two, three. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We actually have double blue. Yeah, we have Mystic Snake and Counterspell Man up. Oh man, what a time to be alive. I'm gonna hit some creatures here, boy. You ready? Figure Destiny? It's not impressive. Oh, okay. Giddy, Giddy and Jura, huh? Everybody might be. Mac beast back. All right. Yeah, this is a fine attack. Sure. Sure. Man, that that cat token really stuck around for a while. That guy was here forever. I wish they didn't shut down my 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 Scrabble God. Lingering souls. Dang. Pretty sure we have to counter that and counter the other half.
<sighs> Mystic Snake doing some work. Oh, Mother of Runes? Yeah, that's pretty obnoxious the sword. Yeah, that's no that's no bueno. They do get their lingering souls tokens, but whatever. If they want them. Now they're choosing whether to equip this sword or whether to Like they just can't attack with Linvala or else I'll kill it. And then we get all of our activated abilities back. This guy with first strike is... That's pretty scary, actually. What do you copy? Trigon Predator? Muldrifter? Did they get a 4-4 four four because of that? I guess it is. This is a 4-4 four four Muldrifter. It's not yep. the actual Muldrifter creature. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. Man. That was actually a solid series of plays. And we do get to do this for... We do get to scry two again. Bottom both of these. Actually, Tarpit's pretty good here. That's six? Block. Yeah. That kills them next turn because of the scries. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. Oh, what do we get this time? Adanto Vanguard and more planes. Okay. I guess we can play Pack Rat now. Discard both of these if we really, really want to. I'm pretty sure we just attack with all the things. Like, if we attack with all these guys, you're priced into blocking pretty awkwardly. Like, this guy can block one of these, but then this guy can block here and he dies too. And then you take five, or else you block here. The back rack can't actually activate. Oh, true. Copying Jailer would have been good, especially because we have uh, the Monarch. Oh, wait, no. This guy has to go here too then, right? Because otherwise our Skyrim God just gets turned on. No. Yeah, you... No. Sure. They're just throwing Lin Linvala away? Okay, that's going to cost them the game. Unless they have a literal trick for free here. What? No way, dude. There's no way that's a, that's the correct play. No, they're super dead. That's no bueno. Oh, all right, we just win the match. Yeah, what? That was weird. Did they think this was a 2-team old drifter? I have no idea. Like, once this once this Linvala was off the board and our pack rat and our, our Scarab God were turned on, yeah, that was weird. Not what I was expecting. How you doing over there? Opponent is making plays. Um, around the time you spit that ice on me, man? No. That was crazy, dude. I don't recall. Yeah, I like this. Turn one pack rat or turn one looter. How deep how deep are we going here? I feel like it's pack rat. I do too. I have been blessed. <laughs> yeah, you've been blessed by the pack rat. I won two to an insane deck and I feel like my matchups were all good, so set. Uh oh. How come I can't do surprise Pikachu in the in the Magic Online chat? That's really all I want here. Oof, and we get the days here. We get to keep days up. One, two, three. 
Let's get rid of a looter here. This is how we do it. I think Days is pretty much uh, locking up this game because it means we can make rats every turn and the earliest turn that they'll be able to... <laughs> okay. Well, that'll do... <laughs> this is how you win vintage cube oh, matches. Pack rat. This is how you win vintage cube matches, ladies and gentlemen. You play a turn one pack rat uh, and then you just make rats for the rest of your life. Yep. <sighs> Oh, this is another good one. Turn two, Ashio. Yeah. Yep. Definitely sneaking this one. And you said this format wasn't fast. I didn't say it wasn't fast. I said it wasn't. Cons God, I'm so tired of this turn one. This turn one Kithian, my dude. I wish this was an emerald or a, a sapphire instead so I could keep up spell pierce, but I don't think they're playing a a turn to spell. Okay, well. That's <laughs> <laughs> so awkward, right? Oh, crying out loud, man. All right, let's get our underground. I wish we had a green we can grab. So as she goes to five, one, two, three. Nope, we'll have to use a blue here. Ideally, we just draw Black Lotus off the top, and then we can go Mind Twist. Will we exile? Shriek Maw. Uh, you know, I don't know. Three. Oh wow, Sword and Skull Clamp. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. I'd rather have them not have that. So it's the same. Black Lotus. More like Key Snora. Key Snora. You heard me. I did. I just, you know, didn't didn't really make any sense. I want to kill this because I think they just let it resolve. Yeah. All right. So they could have actually mana vaulted and kept it alive, but they did not. How would they kill? Oh, because it gets indestructible. Oh yeah. But I think it's still worth it because it taps their mana vault, and uh, you know. Yes, we have Lotus Mox Mox Mind Twist. Oh boy. Oh, got him. <laughs> nice. And they tapped their mana vault. Oh, that. boy. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. I don't feel good about this. Oh, wow. And it's the third land, so it comes into play untapped. Jeez. What do we have under here? Selfless Spirit? No, nah, we can do better. Wow. Mirror and Crusader, Silver Blade, and Brimaz. Oh, boy. Butter my biscuits. Can we make Krakens this game? Oh, we could have just twisted them. That would have probably been better. I got so excited about the Kiora that I was like, you know what? I'm good. Well, you can twist them for the whole hand now because they're probably going to play something. No, they're dead. Nope, they just conceded. Oh boy! Well, that was fun. That was a quick match. It it didn't. It was like what, thirteen seconds? It was not long. Let's actually find out. We can. It'll say here, but I, I don't think it lets me back into that. Yeah, it does. Six minutes and eight minutes. That actually seems incorrect. I meant match two. That was match two. Oh okay. Game one was six. Game two. Game two did not feel like eight minutes, but. <sighs> Cheshire Pratt, was that you? Where did our game go? Return to the game. I will play first. Um, I don't love it, but it's got answers and it's got a Jitte, so. Yeah. It's an okay hand. No, it definitely wasn't total time, because the second game wouldn't have been two minutes, right? I thought that too, but I don't think that's how that, I don't think that's how it works. Yeah, this is actually fine. Lol, I don't even have Moto. Okay. Okay, well. Oh, I don't like doing it, but... You know what? I wonder if he would have killed his... 
hierarch there? Probably. I would have. You're a maniac. I would have killed my own hierarch. Green was a pretty good draw there. Do you want Shriek Maw? Yes. It feels good. Kill all the things. Like we did like oh you're gonna I'm gonna float now. Oh I got nothing, of course I have nothing. Oh it's so cringy. You never have anything. It's, it's just never... like why? I don't understand it. Is it like just compulsion? Just waste time. Sure. Yeah, that wasn't too bad for us. I mean, it leaves us with nothing. I'd rather have Jitte than Vraska and Forest than other than land. So like technically these are two of the cards we could I didn't realize you have forest. Yeah. Not bad. Oh, if they didn't hit Forest, they could play Vraska this turn on an empty board. That's so cringy. A hat made from the bones of his enemies. What does that even mean? Oh, I see. Now they're going to play Vraska instead. Oh, just a Kiora? Sure. Come on, green source. Not quite. Wow, that was a surprisingly good mind twist, apparently. Or him to Torok. Alright, we get two turns to deal with this thing. Yeah, nobody cares about that. It's not gonna do it. We have one turn to deal with this thing. I don't know what we can actually draw to deal with it. I don't either. Him to Torok. It's an impressive magic card. Sure. Thunder my Hellkite would be good here. Yes, yes, it would be. We don't have any green left, do we? No, we have a. F oh no, we don't have. We don't have a green we can search for. No. Which is pretty awkward. So we're just gonna go to the next game. Yep, that is unfortunate. Wow, Kiora. Kiora, Kiora, oh man, man, when you talk like that, you make a Kiora go mad. Shut up, Michael. No, just stop. I like Inquisition here. They have a bunch of good things to hit. Um, Ultimate Price seemed pretty mediocre. Sure. Maybe Trigon Predator comes in. For what? Uh, well, Skull Clamp for one. Me. I like Repeal. Repeal could be good. Bounce like a Kiora. Whatever. I think this is actually fine. Oh, they did have a Mox, too. Yeah, that would have been good. Oh, we also have Maelstrom Pulses and out, but, like... Um... This hand actually seems fine. If we can hit a Mox or a Lotus, holy smokes, it's very good. Because turn two, turn two Lotus for green... Um... Doesn't do anything, actually, unfortunately. Eh, we can go level Jitte, but I don't think that's actually worth it. wish we had a oh god I wish we had a bayou yeah or a no just a blue like a tropical island tropical which island I think sure. was in like the, one of the earlier packs no there's a volcanic I don't think we saw a tropical island no we definitely saw a trop there was trop and man maybe it might have been a different one I don't know okay well that's real mature um yeah we're just Definitely keeping Spell Pierce up here. This is almost a turn to Tassiger if they if we get to Spell Pierce and Crack Fetch. It's real close. Trop and Underground were in the same pack. Yes, we took the, the Underground for obvious reasons. Yeah, that's fine. It's not great, but... Is that your land drop? No. You played land and that. Interesting. God, I want a green source here so bad. Come on, one time. That's not it. Actually, Tasker's pretty good here, though. Or I mean, Ashiok. Ashiok, that's what I meant. Yeah, and they don't have blue mana, so that's nice. Hit a control magic and a forest and a swamp. Sure. Good deal. Well, I have a Jitte for that guy, so thanks, I suppose. All right. Having a good time. 
Less thanks. Less thanks is right. Land? Just one land. That'll do. Uh, Packrat? I was going to say Jitte here. I guess Packrat's... Yeah, I'd rather you could play equipment Jit next turn. So seven mana, we could play this and easily Tasker and invoke this guy. Yeah, I'll just take four, hundred percent. Yeah, and also if they don't see the Jitte, they're much more inclined to attack into these guys. So sure. So sh wow, I'm surprised the mana is actually killing us this much. Seems good. Thank you. Pernicious dude. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome back. Ten months is a lot of months, Frank. Are you sick of me yet? No, not yet. We're good. Thank We're you. good. Permanent, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. Oh, Fatal Push My Pack Rat. How nice. Yeah, this is pretty rough for us. They have one card in hand. God, we're so close to just not dying. Well, it's close to a land. We have four, this, so we can actually Shriek Maw kill you, Tassiger equip Jitte, and actually that's pretty decent. And then we can probably try to keep up Spell Pierce here. One, two, three. We want to keep up two, so we're going to Shriek Maw first. Then we have to exile our whole graveyard, which I guess is fine. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, we probably should have not cared about the beast, I think. No, because then we have to block this guy, and the beast just deals us three for free. Three for free. Uh, so five, one, two. That's everything. Yeah, all right. All right, they have one card. So if we can hit a green source, I think we're actually in pretty ridiculously good shape. But that requires us to hit a green source. So There's no way you attack here. That's insane. Because now you have to spend two to regenerate and we get two more counters. What? Unless you kill our guy in response, in which case you're just eating a counter from us. Which is pretty good. Oh. Oh, they might have been regenerating. What? 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 Did he really need to draw two cards there that badly? I don't understand that at all. Well, that's real bad. Oh, all right, cool. Oh, no, that's that was from 818. That was from three minutes ago. Oh, no, like, yeah. Uh, nope, nope, never happening. Not in a million years. Oh, yeah, you can have that. Wow, they just got rid of a Thrun? That had to be a misplay, right? It didn't seem like not a misplay, that's for sure. They have Probably no... Probably could generate colored mana. So, one, two... Th I actually don't want to attack with Tarpet because I just want to draw with... Tassiger. Let's see what we hit here. Oh, a Mox Emerald and a Mind Twist. Oh, all right, they're going to give us the Emerald? Oh! Oh, they're going to give us the Mind Twist. All right, so they're just gonna, we're just going to hit our last card here. Might as well. X is currently two. You need a black down. Yeah, all right. It was an island. Sure. Nope, don't do that. Uh, pump. We'll just pump once here. Oh, I like that they didn't give us the Emerald. That's pretty hilarious with this hand. Wow, can we actually come back from this game? Tassiger with Jitte on, it's pretty oppressive. Wow, that's insane. We would have drawn that, put these two in the graveyard. They probably would have just given us Pulse because they know we don't have green. All right, so, I mean, like, yeah, that's that's pretty good. 
Trigon Predator, what did they have? They have Skull Clamp, they also have Control Magic. So yeah, we're definitely bringing Trigon Predator. We have a lot of green. We have four sources of green for like, maybe just big bring one more green source in. Because we are adding like two green cards, right? We're adding Trigon Predator. I guess we're just adding one green card, but still. It still brings us up to, actually, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six green cards? Yeah, that's actually fine. I think we can play 41 here. Sure. Man. I can't believe the, the, some, like, I wonder if they just didn't, I just wonder if they just let the Thrun die because they realized it was a, it was a bad attack. And then they're like, well, it's actually just worse for me not to draw cards here because I get nowhere on the board. I mean, I guess, but that's just throwing something away for free. It's, 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 that couldn't have been right. I don't think it. It didn't feel right. Can't keep this. Nope. <laughs> oh my god, come on, dude. Can't keep this either. Sure. Have to keep this. That's absolutely terrible. Lotus on top would be alright. <laughs> would it be? I don't even know. Knights Whisper into Umazawa's Jitte, I guess. Well, we mulled a five on. Yep, sure. <sighs> Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. Oh, that was a pretty good draw. We're not dead yet. <laughs> Come on. Ah, oh, the old turn two Thrun with a skull clamp on board. Can you believe it? Seems good. All right, well, not dead yet. This is rough. Yep, Siggy, you got it. You gonna kill your own elf? No. And you're also not equipping the throne, which is interesting, so. Fascinating. Oh boy, what are our options here? Not a lot, literal nothing. I guess we'll just play Jitte. I guess we'll just die. I guess I'll just die then. Lotus would be nice. Grave Titan, Scarab God, lots of things come online with that. Could we Maelstrom Pulse? One, two, three, four, five, six. We Maelstrom Pulse. We have three left over, and that's two cards. Yeah, we'd have Lotus, Maelstrom Pulse, Knight's Whisper. Oh, that's sad. Had to be done, though. Yeah, it had to be done. We could have actually not played Jitte. I was, but I, I thought the odds of them playing something that turn... That's a pretty good draw. We can Tassiger here now, actually. Which is actually pretty good, because it blocks the Thrun. Yep. Unless they equip it. Right, but then we can equip... Thank you. Well, not the same turn. But... No, we can equip next turn. Bob, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Was just watching on YouTube and thought I'd check Twitch. Don't often catch you in the UK. Merry Christmas. Hey, Merry Christmas, Bob. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Are we still alive? I don't even understand how our deck is like still kicking with this this start. Mulda five. They have turn two thrun, and we're like still alive somehow. I don't really understand it, but they also don't have blue and they have control magic in their deck, which is super weird. Yep, that's fine. If we draw a land, we can also go Maelstrom Pulse the Skull Clamp, equip Jitte here. And then all of a sudden we have a 4-5 to their 4-4. Four, four. Yep, never, never blocking that. Okay, got a blue now. Did not draw a land. I think we just pulse equip, right? Oh, wait, we don't have enough for that? Yeah. Because we did not draw land. We can Muldrif to try to hit a land and then equip Jitte. Mm. I think we just pulse the the clamp and just have a blocker. That actually seems okay. Okay, well. 
we're still alive. Not attacking. Not going to one here. I mean, alternatively, our turn to play was play this. Equi oh, all right. What's happening right now? I'm going to play this guy. And I'm going to hope it resolves so that we can get back Primeval Titan next turn. And I'm not going to attack here because... Actually, maybe we just try to close... No, they just regenerate. Yeah, they yeah. don't do anything. All right. I keep from like, wait, maybe. Don't draw a second blue and don't control magic. That's all we want to not happen. Still alive, followed by a sigh. You sound like my girlfriend every morning. Wow. Jeez. Wait, we just get this guy back, though. So that's actually fantastic for us. I mean, it's not fantastic, but it's pretty decent. Oh, unless they do have the control magic, and they're just like, yeah, next we'll play this. <laughs> we can Moldrifter instead. Yeah, I actually kind of like Moldrifter here, because it lets us get away with uh, not having to commit to the Scarab God before we have enough mana to do so. Plus, it gives us a nice target for Jitte. Oh, dang. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they have um, control magic, and they just wanted to to buy a turn before Scarab God is online with the Botanical Sanctum, which gives them their second blue, which is going to be pretty rough to deal with, I think. Well, now we can peek, so we'll know for sure. Well, they're just going to play it this turn. They're just going to steal Tassiger, which gives them a lot of value. Because they can go one, two, three, four, and then activate Tassiger for the other four, which is pretty rough. Yep. Treachery is okay, actually better. worse. Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I'd still rather them have a Tasker than have our Scarab God, to be honest. Sure. Scarab God's a lot, a lot better. What if, well, they probably just have both. Their hand is probably Treachery Control Magic. Oh, they just activated. Oh, there's a Control Magic right there. Um, let me give you back Lana where else. All yours. <laughs> yep, that's pretty good. Your graveyard's actually pretty stacked right now, so I'm actually a little afraid of what you might have. Well, they have no cards in hand now, so... Right. Well, I mean, what you might get back, because, like, it's obviously Rexate right now without anything else in the graveyard. It's pretty bad. Um... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we have to block. We do have to block. I We have enough mana to go Scarab God into, into equip this for counters, which is nice. I don't want to actually take any damage because if we go to four, it's much, much worse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to Jitte here. All right, they have no cards in hand, which is nice. And then next turn, we can play Grave Titan. But being able to actually get back Rex Sage from their graveyard, like if we can just untap into Scarab God, it's pretty good for us. Because we should also have eight mana then, so we can actually get two things back. One could be like Rex Sage, kill your treachery, primeval titan, get more lands. And I think if we can just survive this one top deck turn, uh, we could have Come on, something crappy. Noble Hierarch, perfect. Alright, we're dodging it. We're dodging, boys. Um Hierarch is a little annoying there, price isn't blocking actually. What is? They can get the exalted and forces to block. No, we just kill it. We have... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sure, sure, sure. You don't need to kill the elf yet. I do, because I don't want them to have extra mana next turn, because every mana matters when they're, when they're Tassigaring. Oh, sure. Plus, we don't need to actually gain more life here. If, I mean, if they guess if they kill Scarab God somehow. Uh, that's pretty bad. I guess we're dead if they kill Scarab God. So they're, of course, gonna... No, they're actually just gonna Tassigar. Oh, also, being able to kill this makes us be able to put the, the elf into their hand. Oh, oh sure. Fatal Push also does nothing. So you can have Elf. And now they have a Fatal Push for the next activation, too. Which means they have a bunch of negative things that they can't really do anything with. Yeah, this is actually great. Thrun has Gex Proof? What is that? Okay, so they played a Forest, which means their hand is Noble Elf. So I think we can actually... I think we just, we just crushed this turn. Uh, Dismember? Nope. Fatal Push? Yup. Okay, so your hand is Noble Elf Push. Wow. Yep, this is pretty good. This is exactly what we wanted to happen. Um, 
Let's get Rex Sage back right now because I don't think it matters. One, two, three, four. Kill Treachery. Get back Tassiger. Uh, bottom. Yeah, definitely bottom. Untap. <laughs> okay. Uh, now we can actually crack Four this. To crack, yeah. Uh, they have three cards in hand. We know all of them. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they can fail push on like something stupid, but. They can't fail to push on the relevant creature, which is this one, which is great. So Rex Sage is like the only thing they can fail to push onto here. And now we get like a million life, which is actually we're at eleven, so like the game is completely turned around now. Wow, this is insane. Let's get our underground. And give plus two plus two, maybe? No. <laughs> Gain two life just so we're out of the out of range. So your hand is literally two dudes and a push. And we have Scarab God, which lets us get back Primeval Titan. That's pretty good. Yep. <sighs> oh my god! 3-0 with the Gotham stipulation. That was fantastic. This game was great. Wow, that's insane, dude. That deck was fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. You can also uh, check me out at meundies.com slash franklapore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And you can check out Aaron Kane custom deck boxes. The link for that is in the description below as well. And uh, you'll get 10% off with promo code Frank. So be sure and check out his work. It is superb. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>